Candace's current state, she is either in her bed or she's in her wheelchair. She's not shown any signs of controlled or coordinated movement, so it's still a mystery. They have no idea what caused it or what's keeping her in this state. It has affected my parents the most because they are here every single day dealing with her. We are not really, we, we don't do anything the way we had planned to. As a matter of fact, we don't do anything at all. The reality of, you know, she may be like this for a while, um, I guess I've never really figured that she would be like this forever. I think the hardest part is knowing that she's normal inside, but she can't do anything. The courtroom technique began, I would say, when I was a young boy, when I would look at people. I mean, I say, see the same physical features that you do when you look at someone, but I also notice that people have what I would call textures or properties. What I notice when I see people, these textural properties relate to human biology. I categorize my indicators much the way a physician would categorize a burn. So I have first, second, and third degree indicators just like there are first, second, and third degree burns. I work with healthcare providers and assisting them working with their patients in terms of arriving at some effective methods of treatment using uh, only this observation-based technique. In conventional medicine, we do make visual assessments. The cordum technique takes other visual signs and you use that part of your intuitive sense to make deeper connections. This is really new to me here. He has a gift, John has a gift. I expect Candace to get up.